Welcome to another episode and as the title of the video states, we're going to talk about street photography and how to become invisible. Alright. So you saw an interesting scene with a bunch of people. Everything is coming together. It's no doubt the perfect scene to photograph. You decided to come closer, raise your camera, and the moment you look through that viewfinder, everyone's looking back at you. Your shot is now ruined. So to avoid that, here are 7 tips to become unnoticed while shooting street photography. Number 1. Personal space. Imagine you are sitting in a relatively empty room and suddenly a stranger sat directly next to you. Feels weird, right? Now this time, imagine yourself in a concert, mosh pit everywhere. You're literally rubbing elbows with them, but it doesn't feel as weird, right? This is what personal space is. We are all inside this bubble, and the larger the space is, the bigger the bubble gets. The smaller the space, the bubble gets smaller too. The moment a person enters that bubble, you will feel it. Now take a look at this photograph. It's pretty crowded here, so when I went in to photograph, no one barely noticed me because I did not even have to intrude their personal space. Maybe you add the fact they are also busy playing checkers, and it's so intense they can't take their eyes off the table. Now this next photograph, not a lot of people at that time when I saw this guy stepping out of his mobile kiosk. I took one or two steps forward and I instantly caught his attention. I took the shot anyway. Number 2. Let the dust settle. This technique is mostly used when you did actually disturb somebody's personal space and caught their attention. You're probably sweating now because everyone's looking at you. But don't worry, just act normal and let the dust settle. Most of the time, these people will go back to whatever they are doing when they realize you're just another person in that area. Just don't do anything sketchy until they return to their previous state. Perhaps bring your phone out and pretend you're texting your wife about the new PlayStation 5 and how it will bring your relationship to a whole new level. Once things normalize, you can now casually bring your camera up and take the photograph. Here's an example. I was pretty close to this guy and like a normal person, he looked at me, curious why I was standing in front of him. I pretended to be on my phone and he eventually ignored me and went back on his phone. Number 3. No sudden movements no eye contact. Anything sudden like walking towards your subject too fast or raising your camera too quickly will catch attention. As much as possible, try walking up into the scene very casually as if you have no intention of taking photographs. Be normal and don't create distractions. Also, avoid eye contact. An eye contact is enough to convey your intention of photographing them. Sometimes, as careful as you are, some people will just notice you no matter what. For some reason, an eye contact is enough to tell somebody your intention. I took this while the Pokemon craze is in full effect in Singapore. I casually joined the crowd, not making any eye contact, which was easy because they're all busy catching that diva Pikachu. I was able to compose without catching any attention. Also. I like the layers in this composition. Perhaps that's for another episode. Number 4. Panning So another way to become invisible is to pan your camera. Let's say your subject is somewhere close in proximity to you. What you're going to do is compose that image in your head, then bring your eye to your viewfinder and pan it from left to right or vice versa until you reach your desired composition, then press the shutter. I know that they might suspect you of taking their photo, but I'm pretty sure they're also probably confused of what you're doing. 
in this example I do, there is a pond full of lilies on the right. I saw this gentleman with his striking checkered shirt and all these people wearing black clothes. I pointed that camera to the pond and slowly panned to my left and with the right speed, I took the photo with the right timing. Number 5. Silent Camera Having a quiet camera will help you photograph your subject at a close range and it will also allow you to take photographs multiple times without your subject noticing you. Although, there are still a lot of photographers who wouldn't mind cameras with loud mirror snaps. On the other hand, many street photographers opt for cameras that has little to no shutter sound because it helps them to fight the shutter without distracting the scene. I had used mirrorless cameras where you can set the shutter to electronic and it produces no sound at all. This camera I'm showing you is my Fujifilm X-T1. You might find the same feature on your mirrorless camera. And when it comes to my film cameras, I prefer using rangefinders than SLRs. Rangefinders doesn't use mirrors like SLR cameras, which produces that noise commonly called as the mirror slap. Number 6. Shoot from the hip. Honestly, I do not recommend this because it has a very high risk of missing the shot. But since I use this all the time, I thought I might also share this with you so you can also miss your shots. This technique probably has a very good chance of you getting away with that photograph, but you have to be familiar with your camera and the lens you are using so you can frame well without looking through the viewfinder. You can fire multiple frames and hope you get the right shot, but it's only ideal if you're using a digital camera. With film camera, be prepared to burn some useless shots. Also, shooting from the hip, in my opinion, makes you lazy. And it's a very bad habit to have. I myself is trying to avoid this technique, but I will only take it serious if my wife buys me a Leica Q. This is an image I took from a train ride in South Korea. I was standing really close to this man, so close he looks like he wants to punch me in my face already. I had my camera pre-focused and my settings preset already. All I had to do is try to point the camera to him. I took about 2 frames just to be sure I have a better chance of getting a keeper. And I'm glad I did. Number 7. Look for distracted people. In a busy street, it's easy to find people who are so focused on what they are doing. They tend to be so focused that they become unaware of what is happening around them. You can easily approach them and they will not even notice you. Take this opportunity and take as much photograph as you can. You can even work the scene and get as many angles you want. Take this photo for example and I know what you're thinking. No, Coca-Cola did not pay me to make this photograph. But I sure hope they would. This gentleman was so busy reading the newspaper that I was able to take a couple of shots before he noticed me. He actually went back to reading almost instantly after he glanced at me. And here's another example. This lady was choosing sunglasses when I spotted her. She was so focused looking for the perfect one that I was able to snag some photographs in a pair of glasses. Alright, that concludes some techniques that I want to share with you. I hope you find it helpful and I also hope my wife stops treating me like I'm invisible after I forgot to wash the dishes. Peace.